Hey fams, welcome back to my channel. So today I am taking part in Heidi Sambal's Easter DIY challenge. I am super excited about this challenge because of course you know she is near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love her so much. Um, she wants for us to create one or more DIYs for Easter. And also if you could put like a religious take on it, it would be absolutely incredible. It's not something that she asked that you do. It's not a must that you do. Um, but it would be incredible to see how you view Easter in your own words. So I want to thank Heidi so much for inviting me into this challenge. I love her challenges. They are amazing. She does a lot of craft videos, DIY videos, decor videos. Um, she also does some vlogs here and there and cleaning videos. I just want to interject. She just started a new channel and it's Heidi Sambo's Home. I would love for you guys to go over and check out her her new channel Heidi Sambo's Home and also her channel here Heidi Sambo's DIY. I will link both channels down in the description box as well as the playlist of all the wonderful ladies that are going to be taking part in this awesome challenge. Heidi, thank you so much. I am so proud of you, girl. You know, anytime I get to talk about you, I just take it. I really do. I take it because I am so proud of you and you are super inspirational and I just love you so much. So thank you so much for inviting me once again in this challenge and let's get into this video. Okay, fams, so I am only creating one DIY today. Um, the reason being is because this DIY is near and dear to my heart. Of course, you all know I am a Christian and I absolutely love me some Jesus. And I just wanted to create a cross on a wreath vine. Um, so for this particular DIY, you're going to need a wreath vine or a vine wreath, a cross um, of your liking. Um, I love this cross. My best friend gave this, well, not my best friend, but a good, really good friend of mine gave me this cross and I just love it so much. You're also going to need a wire cutter, some glue sticks, my hand and dandy glue gun, and some twine to get this project going. So you are going to take your cross and you're going to attach it on the wreath um, with some twine or you can even use bows, um, you know, not bows, but ribbons and attach it, making sure that it's, it's on there. Like it's really attached. That way it's not going to fall off. I love this particular project because it signifies my faith in Christ. Um, he was, of course, you know, placed on a cross and um, he died for our sins. No one put him there. He gave his life for us, for the sins of the world. And the wreath vine for me represents the um, thorns that was placed on his head. And this cross for me symbolizes that he was risen, that he is absolutely no longer on the cross, but that he has risen and he now lives in me. He lives in you if you are a believer. Um, and I am just so excited about this project. I think it's one of the most sentimental projects that I have ever done. And I just love the way that it turned out. I do want to read um, a scripture verse for you guys. I know that it's a DIY video, but I just wanted to take advantage of this wonderful, wonderful um, time of year for our Savior. So Mark 16 verse 6 in the NIV states that for us to not be alarmed. It says, don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. I love this time of year. We don't really focus on Easter so much in our society, 
But in my household, we focus on it because it's the day that our Savior has risen. And it's the day that symbolizes life. And I just, I just love, love this project because every time I look at it, it really just gives me such a, you know, a, a real meaning as to what Christ really did for us. He laid down his life for us so that we can be new in him. We can now have the abundant life. We can live prosperously in our minds, in our hearts, in our spirituality, you know, with our families and friends, loved ones, with just individuals that we meet on a daily basis. So I just want to admonish you today that if you don't know Christ, if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, you can get to know him and get to really understand the meaning of what this cross symbolizes. You really can become saved just by just by repeating these words after me. Lord, I thank you for dying and for rising and for saving me. I repent of all my sins and today I give my life to you. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for you to come into my heart, Lord, and to just dwell with me and live with me and show me your wonderful works and your mighty ways. Father, I want to live for you. I want to serve you and I want to serve others. That is what life is all about. And so I thank you today, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to seek your face and to serve you and to love you and for me to be in the family of God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are now saved. Friends, I just want to thank you so much today for watching this awesome, awesome DIY video with me. Heidi, I also want to thank you for inviting me in this awesome challenge once again. Be sure to check out Heidi's channel, Heidi Sambal DIY, and also Heidi Sambal Home. They will be linked down in the description box. Also check out the playlist that is going to be also linked in the description box of all the amazing ladies that's going to be taking part in this wonderful challenge. Friends, if you are coming over from Heidi's channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. If you see or like what you see or like what you've heard, I would love for you to join me on my journey here on our channel, our little corner here on YouTube, and become a part of our channel by subscribing, hitting that red bell, um, hitting that bell, double tapping it for new notifications, and also giving this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out to grow. I would also love for you to leave comments down below because I love talking with you guys and interacting with you guys and just, you know, bouncing ideas and encouraging you and receiving your encouraging, encouraging words as well. So thank you so much. I hope that you guys love this video and I hope that you take something away from this message and that it really blessed your life. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Happy Easter, everyone.